welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making a homemade hair oil that I have been using for quite some time now and um, so this is basically mixing coconut oil almond oil and castor oil together oh my god these are insane oils with like insane benefits and along with that i'm going to be mixing few ingredients that go into it and of course you can find this in your kitchen at all times and when i'm making this oil i will list all the benefits of each one of them individually so it's better for you guys to understand why i am making a cocktail i'm going to be making this oil for my mom so and i could also be sharing it with you all so every one of you is suffering from um hair problems itchy scalp dandruff thinning alopecia everything can be cured with this hair oil it's literally like all these crazy benefit like cocktailed into one hair oil do you guys love where i'm filming this right now <laughs> i'm literally sitting outside and uh filming this it's so beautiful out today also, if you guys enjoy watching my videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe. This will encourage me to come out with better content for you guys every single week. So please hit that subscribe button. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So to make this homemade hair oil, you need chopped onions, uh, six cloves of garlic, um, some fenugreek seed, methi basically, some curry leaves, and three different oils. So the first one is pure almond oil, um, then it is the parachute, regular coconut oil, and then castor oil. Yeah, these are all the things that you'll need to make this homemade hair oil. That works literally like magic. So now you need a pan that's deep enough, and I'm going to be turning the gas on. To be the portion of the oils are gonna be, this one is going to be like almost the entire container. Then this one and literally one fourth um, cup of the castor oil. So. so deficiency of magnesium and calcium in particular results in poor hair growth and hair loss. Zinc is another important mineral that is important for healthy hair. Its deficiency is known to cause alopecia, which is hair thinning. Uh, but almond oil is rich in all of these minerals. Um, so using almond oil on a regular basis prevents hair loss. And now we're putting the castor. Castor oil controls hair loss, thickens hair, treats dandruff, repairs split ends, enhances hair color, boosts hair growth. It is rich in omega-9 fatty acid that penetrates into your pores and hair follicles. It provides nourishment and the hair follicles are restored to its normal pH level. Just that much? Yeah, that's a problem. This is my absolutely favorite oil. So coconut oil is rich in antioxidants and has antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial properties when used on the hair. It improves scalp health, fights infection and fungus, supports hair growth while adding volume and shine to your hair. It treats itchy scalp and fights dandruff as well. And coconut oil is natural sunscreen. Now we'll mix these three oils perfectly. So I'm going to be mixing curry patta first, which are curry leaves. Curry leaves has always been known to help in preventing graying of hair. So those of you suffering from your hair turning gray and stuff, you, this is great. It's also effective in uh, preventing damaged hair. It adds bounce to limp and thin hair. It strengthens the hair shaft. The oil will not smell the greatest, but trust me, it's amazing. So I know um, when I mentioned garlic, it's kind of like, what? Who puts garlic? But garlic contains sulfur, copper, vitamin C, selenium, and these minerals are highly beneficial for hair growth. Anytime you have fungus in your hair or that itchy, like horrible scalp, using garlic burns, but then it's great. Um, the copper in the garlic promotes hair growth and thickens hair. As now, Onion is known to be super strong in its antibacterial properties to fight infections of the scalp. It makes the hair shiny and obviously if used regularly, it makes your hair shiny and it improves blood circulation. So that's great to promote new hair growth. Now the next thing I'm going to be mixing is fenugreek seed. Um, this is about 
four tablespoons um, and it really doesn't matter. Last but not the least, I'm going to be mixing in this aloe vera 100% pure gel. It contains proteolytic enzyme which helps heal and repair the damaged cells in your scalp, improves hair follicle, the health of the hair follicle and promotes faster hair growth and it's also hydrating for your hair. All right, so now that I have mixed all my ingredients in it, I'm going to keep it on pretty, I'm not gonna put it in full, I'm gonna keep it in low. So once I see the oil turning dark brown, and that's when I'm going to let it cool and strain everything and put it in a container. So I am checking in after an hour of me boiling this. I have decided to strain this thing outside because my mom is going to kill me if I drop a single ounce of oil in her kitchen. She's very particular about her kitchen rules, so I just decided I'm going to do it out on the deck. This is exactly the color you guys want the oil to look like. Now my mother is going to find a container for it and put it in. This you can use for however long you want and then go ahead and make another new batch. Also, this hair oil takes a little bit of patience to make. You're boiling it for three hours at least um, and you have to cook it on like low flame. You can't just rush this because you want all the juices out of each one of them to be like out and mixing in the oil. So it's cooking for pretty much three hours on super low flame um, until the oil turns uh, brown to dark brown. All right, so that was all for this video. Um, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.